Hello and welcome to our Void XRC video. Thanks for tuning in. So I'll be doing a review on the Remo rocket today. This will be one of my first attempts at a more proper thorough review. Let's just get started uh, by talking about the one thing that annoys me most about this. It's not a big thing but it's sort of a big thing and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so and this is just getting the body off. Now the, fr the front two pins here, no, not a problem. The problem comes where they've placed the back two with this wheel right in the way. It is such a pain to get these two pins in and out. This is definitely the biggest problem I have with this vehicle. Other than that though, it's not too bad. Getting them out there wasn't too hard. Getting them in is a much bigger pain regardless if you try to go from the front or the back of it. Just a big pain. Alright, well now that that part's out of the way, let's just get into the handling and the top speed. This is pretty decent handling, especially on pavement. It's fairly grippy, handled pretty well. It's pretty hard to spin out. That said, the top speed on it isn't super fast, so it's that's one of the reasons why it's not thumped. You are to spin out. It, I only was able to measure a 31 km an hour top speed. I'm going to insert some footage of it here. But as you can see, it does handle pretty well on pavement. It's not quite so good on uh, leaves and dirt and stuff when there's a few sticks that are a little bigger this thing is get, get thrown off fairly easy as it's only a 1 16th scale but if it's a flatter dirt ground it does handle it pretty well I think I would have to give its handling about a three and a half out of five all right let's uh, get into the electronics now there's not too much with this other than it's a fairly simple thing however with a lot of cheap RC's you usually get pretty junky electronics and one thing that I was pretty happy to see about this is that even though it does use a 5 wire servo or the speed controller does use a 5 wire servo it does have the option if you remove this to use a standard 3 wire servo so that is just very nice to see and a lot of cheaper vehicles you, you won't see that you'll just see the option for the standard 5 wire servo and that's it so I definitely did like to see that. Now the standard servo itself isn't anything super great, but it's not super bad either. It, I had no problems with it. The radio itself too is fairly decent. It is reversible from left hand to um, from right hand to left hand, as you can see here. So that is a big plus with its radio. It also has. A throttle trim and steering trim and then the steering dual rates and throttle dual rates. Now if you don't know what the dual rates are that means it changes the response input on how much you say steer to how much input you get on the steering. You can also switch the throttle from a 70% uh, forward 30% back like it is here to a 50-50 you just push this in and move it up and now the throttle is about 50-50 or maybe not quite but it's much closer the radio also only uses four double A's which is nice so I give the, I'd give the electronics probably a three and a half out of five fairly good but nothing too great but not crappy either alright let's talk about maintenance now maintenance is pretty good with this I haven't had to really do anything because I've not broken anything. However, everything's to be everything seems to be fairly simple to access. Like, let's just talk about changing the motor, for instance. If you needed to replace the motor, all you would do literally is take out that screw there and that screw there. That plastic piece would come off, and the motor pops right out. So its maintenance is very simple. I'd give it a four out of five. All right, looking at part support for this. It's not too bad. You can uh, pretty much get all the pieces. The one piece I didn't see was the chassis itself. However, I, Banggood does carry most of the other pieces and there are other websites that do sell um, parts too. 
You can also get some upgraded aluminum parts, like the um, A-arms, and you can get upgraded um, links and whatnot, and upgraded suspension. So there's quite a few upgraded parts. So I would give the part support about a 4 out of 5 for that too. Alright, so let's talk about durability. Now from what I've experienced, the durability has been pretty good. I've not broken a single thing on any of my runs or anything. Having it not be super fast obviously is going to help with that as the slower it goes, the less damage you're going to get from impacts. It does have metal dog bones and they do have steel in them. As you can see here, magnet sticks to that. The, out, uh, the drive cups are metal I believe but I don't think there's any steel in them as the magnet doesn't want to stick to them but I believe they are metal. Like I said I haven't broken anything everything seems in really good condition so far so I think I would have to go ahead and give the dur durability of this thing a 5 out of 5 which is it's pretty good. So here's where I just go over a few things that I missed while I w that I noticed while I was editing. First thing is the uh, speed controller does claim to be waterproof. Now I haven't tested this yet but I think I will do that in the future and we'll see how waterproof it is. Now I assume that the servo is supposed to be waterproof too as the box does say waterproof. So we'll test that out in the future. It does come with this little 1 to 3S charger. And just a 2S 1500 milliamp hour battery. This isn't the exact battery that comes with it but it's pretty much the same. And now one other thing that I was quite uh, happy to see is the wheels on this are bead lock. As you can see here they just tighten from the inside of the wheel instead of the outside. But they are completely bead lock so I thought that was pretty sweet. I was definitely not expecting to see bead lock wheels on here. So the total final score comes out to be 20 out of 25. That's not a bad score for a nice cheaper RC, so that's not too bad at all. Alright, well if anyone has any questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.